Hello. This is a little dinosaur again. It's good for Mrs. Blades. It's joining me again. Um, as I press on with my um, small project called the Kandar uh, for Mr. S. You may notice the adverts are back. Well, further to AdSense from Google saying um, we've suspended your um, AdSense account, you can um, appeal once, but only once. So I appealed, and they rejected it. So four or five weeks later, I had an email. We've had an investigation. We've reinstated your account. I told him I didn't do anything wrong. So anyway, it's back. Wonderful. I earned 2p the first day. So, at least there's a few pennies coming back in. Good news. Unfortunately, um, the other thing, being that my, my eldest is in uni, and my lady is now at uni as well, None of the fundings come through for either of them. Knock at the door. See you in a minute. Hello? Hi. Jasmine? Hi. Pardon? Amber's on the phone. Amber's on the phone. See you in a minute. Ask me eldest at uni. Timing. That's Amber. She's got tendonitis now. Typing up her Spanish uh, things at uni. The French is alright because she's got dragon speak, it's sort of like a speak it and it types it sort of thing. So. But she's. <laughs> anyway, moving on a more positive note. Um, at Tesco's, I come across a lad who's working in the same sort of time in the morning as me. And after a couple of minutes' conversation, it turns out he's a YouTuber as well. So, what I'm going to do is leave his link at the bottom of here. He's a um, electronic consumer product um, sort of journalist affair, and it's called Boom Tech Tech Boom TV. Um, it's sort of like iPhones and cameras and that sort of thing. If any of you are into that high tech stuff, like past the Bronze Age, give him a look. Okay, so there's a shout out to some an Oppo at Tesco. Um, at the other point of I'm a bit of a small chap was a shout out to Sandy. Um, I only met the chap once and straight away you could he was um, a tenacious chappy. Uh, he's grabbed hold of this knife making lark and he obviously could see the fact that his main job was beginning to wind down and um, fair play to him. He's got himself tooled up, he's invested in his shed and his wood burner and his bandsaw and the grinder. Um, he, he had a, a nice blessing from Bromwich on 200, fair enough. And now he's kitted up and then it happened. But he was shrewd. What an arse, Sandy. Um, so, all of you who subscribe to me and who haven't heard of Sandy of Jack Law Knives, I'll do a, a link at the bottom. Um, he does one blade. Okay, it's it's a bush law, wood law sort of blade. But the quality's pretty good. And as you can see, with each one, he's trying to improve and enhance. So, there ain't no competition with knife makers that I can see. We're all out to help each other out. So, Here's a shout out to Sandy of Jack Law. Links at the bottom. All those who haven't heard of him, just drop in and see this guy. He's got a few challenges, but I'm telling you, watch out in the next couple of months. This the quality is good. Jack Law knives. So thanks for joining me again. Thanks for all your comments. And um, the testing of the little stubby ones will be happening, Sam. Well, that's Scott from Wessex Blades.